Forget G20, try G strings. That's the message from Alan Cooper, owner of the Zanzibar Tavern in downtown Toronto. You know, we're a little bit perplexed. They're warning some people not to come downtown, but we're hoping that we're really busy and that things will go well. The strip club jazzed up its Young Street sign Friday with an invite to the G20 leaders and their thousands of representatives from governments around the world, expected to hit Toronto next week. Well, I'm actually looking forward to this summit. I think it's very good to, to showcase our city, to showcase our country. Uh, we have lots of people coming into town. Uh, I'm not too worried at all. Hopefully things will go well and it'll be a nice advertisement for the city, for our, for our club, the Zanzibar. While Bay Street and some of the businesses trapped in the security zone around the summit have opted to either close up shop or work from home when the G20 comes to town, Cooper is one of the business owners that hopes there'll be a reason to stay open. The Zanzibar isn't the only business pledging to keep the lights on during the summit. The Entertainment District BIA, which includes the security zone around the G20 Summit, announced Thursday it was launching two special promotions for G20 Week to encourage delegates to shop and dine. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Don Pete.